I'm yeah. <laughs> because like, that's how much I suck at drawing eyes, though. Because that's the thing, and you know, not a lot of people actually know this. The first, uh, well, actually, no, I did sort of like Thursday about it on my Tumblr, but the first manga series I got really deep into was um, uh, Magical Pokemon Journey by uh, Yumi. Oh shit! It's it, it didn't heal me. Yeah. Shit. So, oh, you have to go to the upper elevator first. Oh shit, I didn't get any of my health kits back. Should I, I should, uh, should I do that? Or, yeah, since you're on like half health. Or is that, is that gonna get her cursed or whatever? Nah, she'll be fine. It's when she gets beaten up, like, she gets cursed. Okay. When you leave her alone when there's enemies. So, what I've actually come up with kind of a strategy to help you out with that because Having my lean, I want to punch her in the face. <laughs> she frustrates the fuck out of me. Hey, come on, Eileen. She kind of sucked that. To Luraya. No. She doesn't even deserve to Luraya. Motherfucker can't do shit. I mean, she, she can stun lock enemies. Yeah, but she, she, she can't handle shit by herself. She doesn't follow very well. Oh, son of a bitch! Are they already starting? God damn it! Uh. Uh oh. I need to get your holy candle out. It's enough. That's so dumb. Others is on the bottom, but you have to go up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one. I was gonna say, take one of those, use it. So. Alright. You're good. You get one more. Yeah, that's probably easy. Alright, go hover over the holy candle. Okay. Uh oh. Ready to learn how to do possessions? The fuck? Back away, okay. I wanted to Go see around the table, because that's one of the ones where you can actually fuck it up and waste a candle. Alright, so, look, face, okay, have your cursor over the thing, or over the holy candle. Alright, and then go a little bit toward, towards the um, chair, and then start spamming to put it down. I think what square is the square that uses? There we go. Now, fall back. Stay back. Yes! When it melts really fast, that means you put it in the right place and it's getting rid of the possession. Yes! You know how many holy candles I've wasted by accidentally putting it in the rock spot? Oh, by the way, there's a present there. How do you get more holy candles? You just find them? Yep. Kind of shitload. Huh. Usually more than you need, and which I think that was what was hinting towards you can heal Eileen with them. Oh. Huh. I think that was, like, supposed to be the hint. The weather that day was very strange. Even though I avoided the earlier storm, there was still a thick thick fog clinging to everything. Oh. Seven Hill. <laughs> Fortunately, that allowed me to avoid being seen and get right to work. Police are still stubbornly acting as if it's just a copycat case, so I figured things... Probably hadn't been touched here, but I was wrong. I should have come sooner. The cemetery was in such bad condition, it was almost sad. The storm must have raised to the sea level. Anyway, that's how it was when I found Walter Sullivan's grave. The diary is pretty damaged around this point and I can't read anymore. I'm still in shock. There was no body in the grave, and on top of that, written on the coffin were the numbers 11 out of 20. One. The assumption. The number 11 was assumption. The holy assumption. Wait, what? Number 11 out of 21 was known as assumption. They mentioned it. They mentioned it I yeah, guess. I remember that, but I don't remember what it was actually talking about when it said it. It means they, um, it's the assumption that Walter Sullivan died. Oh. So once you do the the first ten sacraments it talks about it a little bit. Um, and then the Holy Assumption. 
number 11, you know how there is like uh, temptation, chaos, watchfulness. His was assumption. And that allowed him, to, like the, doing the holy assumption allowed him to like become this immortal-ish like thingy, like spoopy man. Okay. That's the best way I can describe it. And everyone else, they all had things like Chaos and Watchmen that basically fucked them over? Or didn't do dick for them? Yeah, it, it's like, it, in like the 21 sacraments, like, it, it'll explain it more in the next coming worlds, but all 21 had different things to do with them. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I kind of want to look for that now. Yeah, that's coming up in the next couple worlds. Like, well, I kind of want to look for where it was talk. I think where it was talking about the holy assumption. Um, I think it's up more. Wait. Um, it's not that I don't trust you. Oh no, that's okay. There's, I know, there's just so much information to take in. I think there's an actual thing about I think. Oh, um. I'm trying to remember now. It was, it was one that I found, like, this play session, right? Could I, I it's either it this mean? one or the one right before it. I don't know if it's further up, because I know there's a thing about. And it's not in the same, it's not in the dated order because it's not like a diary. I think. You gotta remember though, I put this case a little bit blurring a little bit. Because there's just this article, like not very well into it. Well, also, like, where it says how he cut out the victim's hearts for the first ten. Mm -hmm. It is going to be, you're going to read more about it later. <laughs> so that is something to keep um, an eye out with. Oh. Quite scripture scribe, yeah. The blood of the ten sinners. Wait, wait, wait. Off the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil, the first ten murders, be then released from the bonds of flesh and gain the power of heaven, from the darkness and void bring forth gloom, and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. The third sign, God said, return to the source through sin's temptation. Temptation under the watchful eye, formless chaos. And the source was one of them, too. Oh, yeah. The, the, the third source. sign, the third round of murders. The second sign was really sad. Like then will the four atonements be in alignment? Yeah. That one was from a while ago, though. But but yeah. I thought it was. I could. I thought it was last session for some reason. Like, oh yeah, because I was thinking we did two sessions of this, but we did one session of three and one session of four. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I was thinking it was last one. Yeah. Holy shit. This. Oh my god. But release and get the power of heaven. That's why he's not in this box. I'm gonna do start one more save because hey, it's, it's getting, it's just getting you real. Make as many as you want. I don't care. I I have like I have probably before you were playing, I think I have like fifteen of mine. <laughs> I'm glad I made those separate ones because otherwise, shit, I wouldn't have been able to get all the endings then. Because having Eileen in my dead, condi nearly dead condition, it, uh, oof, wasn't great. <laughs> Alright, uh, what items do we have? I can't remember. I know we have a revolver, I know we have Eileen's purse, I think we have a... We have our axe, and we have. Okay. Good. Items. Why, uh, why is that still in my inventory? Uh, because there has to be considered a, a slot for it. Um, I would 
Yeah, you're good. Okay. Because you got through all of the big parts. I know, I just want to. I just want to make sure there's no possessions in here because I remember you saying that like that's a game mechanic. Oh, that is to... true. Um, one thing to do is to turn on the radio because it'll start acting like it did in Silent Hill Three, and it'll buzz whenever you have possessions hmm. or make static, which makes it so much easier. Interesting. I believe it'll start working now. Yeah, because with that fuzz scene, that means it like it's on. And that's the most that's so helpful because like sometimes I'd be like, where the like I I wouldn't know there's a a thing. And then I started using that and it's like, oh my god, I actually know that. <laughs> Makes life so much easier. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. What time do you want to get dinner? Like um, eight thirty, eight eight thirty. That sounds good. All right. I'm gonna say I still have that TJ Friday for free, a free <gasps> entree. Oh, do you want to try and go there? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It says it's only for this weekend. And it's like I need to get an entree. <gasps> free is one. Of my, free is like my second favorite. <gasps> That's my favorite one because I say it so much. Um, yeah. Yeah, there, there might be, I don't, I'm not actually sure, there might be a closer one than the one. Cool. Cause I know that one just, yeah. We actually, can... you should probably do that. Check check what the closest uh, Fridays is. That was goody. Alrighty, boom, boom. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> um, it's the one by the elevator. Because you have to go upstairs. It's a thingy thingy. TG on Fridays. So wait, is it the one at the far end of the stairs? Or the hallway? Uh, no, there's an elevator right next to it, right? It's it's hard to see with the camera. Be prepared. Wait, cause really? Yeah, you have to call it. You don't have to actually go in. You don't have to go in though. There are there's at least one nurse, and there's no good items. So you don't have to go in, but you have to go downstairs. Wait, what? I have to go I downstairs. Know, so yeah. Oh yeah, there is one much closer by. It's actually in style. Oh, cool. That is awesome. Yeah, it's only like it's not even thirty miles away. Oh, are you downstairs then? Oh. Because now it'll say that I'm about to work. Now you can go downstairs. Oh. Oh, wait. If I try and do this. Yeah. So now I have to go downstairs and call it? No, you'll see it. Also, why did uh, Arlene stop following? Um, if you get too far ahead of her. Oh. You know, with fucked up leg and shit. See? Fine. Oh. Okay. I don't remember it falling, but- Oh, wait. Wait, what? See? None of the instructions made any sense. That is silly. Exactly. That's why I, like, just ignore it. <coughs> Are you sure that's what it meant? That's what it was talking about? Though? Yeah, it's like, here, use this key, and here, blah, 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 pass. Just let what? her fall. The fuck? Yeah. Burr, 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 burr. Stair mechanics. Oh. It, it's the slinky effect. They have the slinky effect. Oh. oh. I need to help us. Oh, the it. Every curse just kind of has shit range. Yeah. That is so silly. She, she, I think like she gets better ones. I never bothered looking for them or Wait. trying. Hello. Okay. okay. Stay down. There we go. Ever down. 
You remember those doors with that symbol? And I was always like, oh, that's a future door? Oh. We're going through the future doors. Woo! Huh. Okay. <laughs> I can't help it. Um. Hello, friends. Okie dokie. And you can go farther ahead, you'll just end up having to wait for her. There's no monster here. That leads to your hole. What is this place? <laughs> uh. I don't fucking know. If I knew, I'd tell- I would've already told you. And we wouldn't be wandering around here. You're always scared, bitch. Oh, of course, I got- I, I can't say, like, shit because my Eileen, like, is, like, dead- almost dead and shit. <laughs> yeah, you just have to wait for her to get- come find you. Well, come on, Eileen. I know that's Eileen Taluraya. Come on, Eileen, Eileen Taluraya. Now you, uh, now you, uh, oh, oh, Eileen Taluraya. Come on, Eileen. Yeah, you know, if I was, if I was watching this video on YouTube, I would have stopped a long time ago after about the thirty-fourth reference to that song. Candle. I'm not, I was gonna say, candles are a thing, the little red splotches are not. I kept picking those up for like five minutes before. Ah. And, you ready to go through a door that works? A door that works? <laughs> Guess where we're at? Are you ready? <laughs> You're gonna have to hear anything to ask. Oh, god damn it. Back in the circle, in that future hall, I told you about that. Yeah, yeah, I told you about that. I wonder if Joseph is Excellent. still alive. Okay. Probably not. I mean, um, sometimes shit happens. And people die. Oh fuck, um, you gotta find the bathrooms. God. We need Why? the subway points. I, I, I have one at the apartment. Yeah, that's what I mean. You have to, the bathroom is where, uh, the oh, hole the is. Yeah. Okay. Just past this guy. I probably want to save soon as many, right? Yeah, I'm going to say, it's good to, that way you can save. You go, girl! Alright, now we can go. That way you can save, and I can try to remember what ship. Yep. Because I, for I always forget to grab it, and I always kick myself for forgetting. The, the gray is like how you remembered it the first time. Huh. Which is very helpful. <laughs> that way you're not completely going back in line and it's still off. Um, yeah, right there. I, mean, I can't remember the mannequin is still there. Oh. Lovely. Alright, you step on them. Yeah. Yeah. I know I would sometimes get really super damaged just because these little fucks kept exploding on me. Even you, little baby fuck. Not even the children were spared. <laughs> Kill them all. God will recognize his own. <laughs> oh, God. This is awesome. That was that was an actual quote by 
some like French general or something Yay, before he massacred like an entire enemy uh, village. Well, half of his name is in French, guy, So I'm pretty sure French wasn't actually in his name. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> You, it's okay, you're just trying to see the good in everyone. Exactly. I try to keep positive. What is that guy doing? I don't know. Or is that just a ugly check? Okay, uh, it doesn't look very beautiful. Oh yeah, it looks like they're sweeping or mopping in their house. Uh, it looks more like they're kind of like run, walk, like stomping around like in maybe, some sort of weird... Maybe this is a new Wii U program. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, but yes, there, I found one last meme. If the Internet Explorer is brave enough to ask you to be your default browser, you're brave enough to, to ask, ask that out. girl out. I've seen that before. That's that that's, quote, that beautiful quote from Abraham mm -hmm. Lincoln. Oh, that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe everything you read on the internet, <gasps> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, I found this one too. This one was funny. It's an Undertale one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, how, what? He didn't save us or shit. He sold us fucking hot dogs. That arguably saved us. Ah, uh, true. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you would know this. I asked my mom. But I took a picture of the back of the Pokemon Crystal. What screwdriver or other tool is supposed to take that out? My mom doesn't even know. Um, she actually knows shit about tools. I... Would guess. What do, what do they call those things? Are like a wrench, but like a baby wrench. No, like like instead of like, I guess sprocket maybe. It's mm. it's like it's like a wrench, but instead of like you know the handles on this side and you go like this, mm. the hole is like at the end and you like. I don't know how to words. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know shit about tools. So I tried to get a, I have my pliers, and apparently they were too thick. So I tried to open it. Because I have all the other tools and, and the battery necessary in order to actually change one of the batteries now. I wanted to test it out so bad and see if it, like, legit worked. Because I also found my Game, I found my game Boy Advance SP with my Batman sticker on it. And it actually still, like, turns on and shit. So I was like, fuck, I gotta see if it works. So, so I have to fucking play some Pokemon Crystal. And then train to be the very best. And then play Pokemon Stadium 2. Nice. Pokemon Stadium 2 is the shit. I fucking love that game. <laughs> oh, yeah, I keep almost forgetting that you, you were such a PC person growing up. Like, PC gamer. Yeah. What about that? Because <laughs> I, I, I keep... Like, thinking, like, okay, all these, like, love the games, and it's like, I don't know how many, like, other systems you played other than PC, for the most part. I played, I had some consoles, I had mm -hmm. PS2, I had, I had a Game Boy, um, or a Game Boy Color, um, I had Dreamcast, I had an Xbox, I have an Xbox 360, I had a lot of things, I was, I was a spoiled child. You're really, it's not badly spoiled, because like that for me it would be Compared like. Compared to you. <laughs> like and that, well, the thing is that we also I have good off grandparents. My grandfather worked at Ford for many years. Oh, nice. So obviously they didn't have money. My great grandmother, she was a nurse forever, hmm. and I you know she had money. Like for my birthday, she would like for every holiday she would send cash and. In exchange, I would, like, draw her stuff and send her cards.